Good morning guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. It is the second day of my work trip. So I woke up pretty early this morning around 7 a.m. I was just taking my time, getting ready. I've only just done my hair and skincare, but I'm kind of hungry, so I think I'm going to head down first to breakfast, get something to eat, I'll have my coffee later, and then I'm gonna come back up, do my makeup, and then slowly get ready, because I still have, what, well, another hour, 10 minutes, so let's go down now. today we are at a pear museum which is I mean I didn't think um, these places would exist in Japan or anywhere around the world but we're gonna try three different types of pears right now so we can actually try each one of these Today's really nice. I'm just gonna stand in the sun. So I put on sunscreen this morning, it should be fine. We are now at Shirakabe Dozoku and this is like a preservation site for these old buildings. We're just gonna walk around and they're famous for their white walls. Manju. Mm. That's so called cool. like manju, which is like how, how do you, what's the manju in English? Um, it's like <laughs> like a dumpling kind of like, like a filling inside. Paste on it, like yeah, a like a filling inside. Yeah, but this is like pear mm. paste, and it's in shape of a pear, mm. which is really cool. Actually, I might consider getting that for me. I'll get it's hundred dollars. Wow. <laughs> Oh wow, look at these. Ooh. Super strong. It's sweet but also savory too.
we are now at a bigger factory and I'm really excited because they will show you how they make the figurines. Now Eric and I actually collect the snow mikus, we buy them every year except we missed the one last year because we forgot. So I'm going to see if they have it and hopefully they do so I can get it for him so we can complete our collection. Eric and I have been collecting the snow mikus, but we're missing the 2022 one. And I was hoping I could find it here, but unfortunately, no. This is really awesome. It shows you the process of making these Nen droids. And look at this, all the parts of this cherry blossom miku. I wonder if you can buy this. Or is it rare? I'm not sure, but it's so pretty. Look at her, her little dumbbell. I would get this. I don't know what to do with it. So for the eyes, I have to do it seven times. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But there's different steps to do the eyes like that. That's awesome. as well to make these. Awesome. I can't believe this used to be an abandoned school and they just turned it into this amazing figure museum. I do want to see if they are selling the Sakura Miku. If they do, I might get that. But I feel like most of the Hatsune Miku uh, Nendroids, they're all like, time limited. I want this. Ah, it's so cool, but I don't know if I will actually have the time to do this. So I asked if they had the Hatsune Miku in stock and they said no, it's sold out. Tom and Jerry. Oh, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> getting some Detective Conan ice cream and apparently got the flavor that makes you younger so yeah I'll take that
思います。able to rest for about an hour. I am changed into my yukata because we are going to be having dinner at the hotel. So yeah, I did like nothing for about an hour because I'm just exhausted. But today was great. We went to three spots, or four, four spots, sorry. I have been to the Kornan uh, Museum before and it was great to go back there because when I went that was maybe five years ago. So I I had some memory of it, but then I've forgotten most of these things, so it was just nice to relive them again. Um, also, the Pear Museum was kind of interesting as well. I feel like Japan is like the only place that has all these random museums, but it's really fun. Also, the figurine factory was awesome. Like the fact that it was an abandoned school and they turned it into something so cool. Yeah, um, I had a lot of fun there. Um, anyway, guys, we are going to head to dinner now. So I think, yeah, I'm probably gonna leave now so I can get there on time. So let's go. Just finished dinner with everyone and the client he was so nice he went out and bought daiku for everyone so i got muscato flavor so i'm gonna eat it now because it's better to eat fresh yeah this trip has been really great like the people on it are all very chill they're mainly um i guess journalists and writers so there's like a good mix of like people from other countries usually on these trips uh, there's like you know they invite people from different countries so obviously I'm here from Australia and there's someone from Korea and another one from Indonesia so yeah also this trip has been a lot more chill because I find that usually they try and pack in as much as they can and it gets really stressful because you're only in one spot for like you know half an hour then it's next spot next spot and it just like drains you but this time around I feel like it's really good because yes there's lots of places we're going to but we finish around like 5 p.m which is perfect so at least i get to go back and relax earlier so then i'm refreshed for the next day 
I've been on trips where literally we start at 7am and we don't finish till like 8, 9pm and by the end of it like you're just exhausted that takes you like a whole week to recover. I'm trying to sleep early and wake up early so being on this trip and being forced to wake up early it helps me adjust my sleep schedule a little bit. Also this hotel is absolutely amazing so when I walked into this room I was like oh my gosh this view is amazing this bedroom looks gorgeous. I'm gonna finish this daifuku and my pokemon battle then I'm going to go into the onsen which I probably can't film because usually if I was to film in an onsen I have to go during their closing hours but because this hotel is kind of big there's a lot of people staying I feel like it's impossible to film so yeah I'm just gonna go enjoy and not worry about filming and I'll see you guys when I get back Right, guys i think i am going to head off to bed now i'm so exhausted it's actually past midnight i was hoping to sleep earlier but just had so much stuff to do so i got well some of it done not all of it um i really need to get a new computer thinking about it because i usually edit on my more desktop back in tokyo but i do have like a macbook pro which I damaged just before I went to Japan. I was, I don't know, I was watching something on my computer whilst I was, you know, um, doing stuff for Cafe Sheep. And then I accidentally spilled a whole glass of water on my laptop. So I aired it out for like two days and my laptop still seemed to be working, but I can definitely tell something's wrong with it now. It's so slow. And when I was trying to export a video the other day, the footage was just really grainy, which is not normal. So yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm due for an upgrade. Though I don't really want to buy a new laptop so soon, even though it is old, but like Apple laptops are ridiculously expensive. So I don't know, I have to think about it. I was considering getting the MacBook Air if it was like a 12 inch so it could fit into like one of my bags but it seems like they don't do them in 12 inch anymore so uh, I'll think about it. Anyway guys, I'm just going to be rambling on so I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 3 of the trip. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.